So now uh, I want to talk about some of the strange effects of transforms and what you can do to fix it. So in other tutorials we've been uh, moving objects around like this. We've um, been shift dragging things uh, and they create a clone. And then we can very quickly say scale things. Uh, we can even shift rotate things like this. Uh, and then maybe move it over here, scale it again. And and it seems like quite a neat way of working, it's quite quite quick. But it can cause you problems when you get to um, fleshing out these models. So let's have a look. Um, so this is a, an unscaled box. And we have a modifier called um, Bend. And I'll go into modifiers probably at a later date, but basically that's the modifier tab, and we're going to add it on top by simply clicking on the bend modifier like this. And then I can bend it by an angle like this. And that kind of does something that we expect. Nice smooth bend. So this object has been scaled down. Let's add a bend modifier to it as well. And we'll choose 90 degrees again. So that is a little weird. And then finally we have this one over here. Let's add another bend modifier to it. And again we'll rotate it by 90 degrees. There we go. So we've got three very different results and they're all due to the scaling of the object. So uh, in another video I said that uh, the transform node is like a coat hanger and these things are um, the clothes and that uh, the objects move around wherever their coat hanger takes them and that includes scaling. So what's happening here is like the mesh is being modified by the bend modifier and then it's being scaled so that's why you don't see a smooth transformation and this can cause problems with your modeling because it produces unpredictable results. So how do we change things? Well, let's just copy these objects over here like that. So I'm just going to shift drag again. There we go. All right. Uh, so let's delete these bend modifiers. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to make them a different color so we know that things have changed. There we go. Right. Um, so, what can we do about it? So, the thing to use when you see this is the, um, you need to reset uh, the transform of the object. So, if you have a look at this object here, we can go in here and we can right click and we can inspect the uh, the transform here. So, we can see that Z is uh, 50%, almost 50%. Let's actually make it 50%. Um, if we were to scale it back to 100, it would be the same side as this box. So let's, let's scale it down to 50 again. So um, this is the uh, local transform node of the object. And um, we can reset it, set it back to 100 like this, by going into the Tools modifier here and then click on this but button, Reset Transform. So when I do this, Reset Selected, you can see now that this um, number goes back to 100. And now, um, if I go back to the modifier stack, and I do bend again. And we'll pick 90. You can see it has a much more predictable result. So that object has now become that object because we have reset its transform. Um, and we can do the same to this object. Now, something to be aware of is that if you can't see this reset transform button, then you'll need to. Um, go into the configure button sets and you can add buttons by dragging buttons like this over here from this dialog onto a button here and it's pressing OK. So you'd need to go through and you need to find um, the reset X form button in the list, drag it over onto this dialog and then press OK. But I'm going to press cancel because I don't want to reset stuff. So if you can't see the reset, reset X form button, that's where it will be. So finally, we'll just reset this object's transform. Um, 
and um, actually let's just do this first because uh, you need to be conscious when you're doing this as well so let's give it a little rotation like that so the rotation is let's call it 33 degrees and I'm going to edit that and stuff it over there there we go okay so in a minute so let's just reset the transform of this reset selected if I go back to rotation zero you see that now the rotations are also zero zero as well as uh, the scale being um, 100 as well so if I now go and press my bend modifier then it's going to go this way like that which may be what you want it may not be what you want so um, a good tip is to if you right click on here if you want everything to remain square just remember to set your rotations your zero out of your rotations then press the reset X form and then uh, you'll get uh, more predictable and consistent results Oops. so now we got that Um, lastly, if you want to get back to your um, edit poly modifier, um, let's just bin that bend. So now we've got this um, special X form gizmo on top. If you want to go back to um, editing poly, you'll need to go choose an edit poly modifier from here. Right click on that and do collapse all. Yes. And that will turn your box, that will remove the X form modifier and turn it into a nice box again that you can carry on modeling with. Um, but we'll get on to um, modify stacks in a later lesson.